What's up guys, welcome back. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about convolutional neural network. So you can see this is a simple architecture of convolutional neural network. And this is an image of 28 by 28 by 1. So this is a single channel image. And you can see after layers of layers passing, it has become a shape of 4 into 4 into 64. So basically, what is it? it is becoming it is increasing through depth so uh, we are making the Im Im image array small but making the depth larger so this is the basic architecture for a convolutional neural network to increase the depth okay and you can see over there there is a convolution okay and after that it follows pulling and after that it follows convolution and after that it's pulling and to the final it is flattening and again fully connected and fully connected and to the outputs so this is a simple architecture so let's see what is convolution so you can see out there this is a image of single channel and if i say the dimension out there so let's mark it out so it is a 7 out there and it is 7 out there so it is a 7 by 7 image and as kernel or feature extractor or as filter i have used a 3 by 3 filter okay and after that after the future mapping or convolution i have got a 5 by 5 so let's see how convolution works so let's place this array out there okay so here 3 by 3 array is placed out there now multiply element wise so multiply 0 with 0 0 with 0 1 with 0 1 with 0 0 with 0 0 with 0 and 0 with 0 z 1 with 0 1 with 0 and you can see if i multiply zero uh, element wise then i'll be having 0 0 0 0 0 0 so up to 9 0 so if i sum all of them then i'll be having a final zero so you can see the first value out there is of zero the second value out there is one so let's see how i got one so let's whip this out and place this kernel out there okay now multiply element wise 0 0 0 with 0 1 with 0 so i'll be having 0 and 1 with 1 so i'll be having 1 out there and again 0 with 0 so i'll be giving, uh, getting 0 and 0 with 0 I will be getting 0 so uh, the rest of all will produce 0 out there ok and 0 so if I sum all the 9 then I will be getting 1 out there so you can see in the second element out there is of 1 so here I will be saying some terms out there so if I say the dimension out there it is of n by n shape okay so you can see n c out there and n r out there and again this is of f by f filter okay so you can uh, subscript with c n r okay and to the final the featured map array i am getting a m by m array so let's say this is m c and m r okay so how the value of m comes okay how can i find from n so before going uh, before finding m i will be saying another term which is known as stride so what is stride you can see out there first of all i placed my filter out there okay and the in the second step i have placed my filter through one 
element ahead okay you can see this is uh, uh, the filter first filter is out there and second in the second step I have placed my filter out there so it has gone through one element so s is out there is equal to one okay and you can say let's my filter is in this position and in the second step I am going through this okay so here I have jumped over two elements so uh, my stride will be out there equal to s equal to 2 okay so let's calculate my m so m equal to so m of c equal to n of c minus f of c of <laughs> and divide the whole with s stride number and sum the whole with 1 so let's see for this example i have nc equal to 7 and fc equal to 3 so 7 minus 3 equal to 4 divided by here stride is equal to 1 so s equal to 1 and the whole is summed with 1 so let's see what i got 7 minus 3 equal to 4 divided by 1 equal to 4 plus 1 equal to 5 so mc equal to 5 so i uh, i will be having mc equal to 5 out there so this is how i can find the dimension if you want to, uh, if you want to calculate manually okay so let's go for an animation so let's see how in, uh, how the what could i say convolution works so let's see okay so you can see this is a uh, array out there image array let's say it is a image array and uh, this is the final convoluted feature extracted array and uh, the filter out there you can see 0 1 2 2 2 0 0 1 2 okay so let's run the animation and see and uh, i think it has a stride number of 1 okay and you can see out there the filter is passing through its steps out there you can see and producing a value so the first step i am getting 12 second step i am getting 12 and third step i am getting 17 10 17 19 9 6 14 so this is how i got the feature extracted array okay so let's go for a three channel image so you can see this is a three channel image okay so i am using a filter of 3 into 3 into 3 okay so after that after convolution i am getting a 4 by 4 array so how can i do so so let's go for calculation out there so you can see 6 by 6 and 3 so this array okay this filter this kernel out there will go for this element this kernel out there will go for this element and this kernel out there will go for this element similarly here 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 okay here this one this 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 and this one with this one so this is how it will calculate and uh, multiply element wise and the second filter out there will go for this one and third filter out there will go for this one and ultimately i will be having so it is six by six image so six minus and the size of filter is three six minus three and each stride i have having one so six minus three equal to uh what should i say three and if i plus with one then i'll be getting a four okay so it will get so this filter the first filter will bring a four by four image or extracted feature array okay the second filter out there will bring a another four by four and the third one will bring another 4 by 4 and if I so if I sum the all the three filters out there uh, or extracted array out there element wise then I will be having a array of 4 by 4 so this is how I got this array 
so let's go for a animation in the next slide so this delete this out and see out there what i got okay so just show and you can see this is a channel and this is a uh, kernel for one channel and the for the second uh, channel i am getting another kernel third channel another kernel and they are individually extracting information extracting information extracting information and i am summing all of them all the three and with the bias out there to get this first element and again for the second position so let's go out there for the second position okay this is the first position of my kernels okay so they are extracting a uh, information so my kernel is minus one into zero zero minus one into zero zero one zero and zero into zero zero one into 156 so i got 156 so write this out oh so i got 156 so write this out and I, if i multiply it with this one then i will be getting 100 155 minus 155 and and you can see out there if i uh, multiply with this element then i will be getting zero and if i multiply with this element then i will be getting 153 and if i multiply one with this one then i will be getting 100 54 so the ultimate result i will be getting is is of 308 okay so in the same way in the first step this uh, this array and kernel will bring this out minus 498 and this kernel and this array will bring this out of 154 and and to the whole one i will be adding a bias let's say bias equal to 1 then i will be getting minus 25 okay so let's put this one through the first element so similarly it will go for full, uh, through the whole array and extracted element through the all elements so this is how the kernel works for feature extractions in convolutional neural networks so this is the basics of convolution in convolutional neural network in the next tutorial i will be showing you how pulling works this is all for this tutorial thanks for watching